Wonderful people, I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. This day I present to you Jesus centered. Jesus is the center of the message I present to you. Amen. My name is Ernest A. Boatin. Ernest A. J. Boatin. Amen. This day we are going to learn, we are going to study a revelation, something from the book of Daniel, chapter 10. Most of us know it to be the prayer of Daniel. And I pray that God will open up your eyes and your ears to receive this insight, this powerful revelation. Amen. You know, when you read the verse 1, the Bible says, It was the year of the king of Persia, King Cyrus, king of Persia. Amen. Beloved, I want you to understand that Persia is not a, a, a spiritual realm. Persia is a physical existence. The modern day Iran, Amen, or Iran. Persia is what, the, what we call Iran in this modern day. It is a country, a nation, a colony. Amen. And the Bible says, Daniel, God had promised Daniel to do something for him. The same way God has promised to make you great, to bless you, to anoint you, to heal you, to open up doors for you. And so when Daniel was waiting, Daniel waited and it wasn't happening. The time was far spent. You know, so the Bible says Daniel mourned. Daniel did not only fast. He was mourning, crying within him. And for three weeks, he kept mourning. Amen. That is how fasting should be. You should fast, you should mourn, you should be prayerful, you should do it to, with, an, with, an, with, with a motive that until God blesses you, you will not stop. Don't fast and wait till 5.59 to break your fast. No. This is just by the way. But listen, the Bible says, Daniel, an angel of the Lord appeared to Daniel and told Daniel that Daniel, the first day you started to fast, your blessing was released and God sent me to you. But, but, he said, but the prince of Persia, you know, the prince of Persia is not a spiritual being. The prince of Persia is a physical person like you and I. The prince, as we all know, is the son of the king. So the prince of Persia is the son of the king of Persia, the king Cyrus. He resisted me until um, an, another angel was released to help me. Now the question is, how can a prince, how can a person resist a whole angel? How can an individual resist a whole angel from bringing a miracle, a breakthrough to Daniel? Amen. Beloved, I want you to understand that the things, the resistance to your blessing, the resistance to your miracle, the resistance to your breakthrough, the resistance to your marriage, whatever you desire in life, is not from in a spiritual realm, even though it happens in the spiritual, but for anything to happen against you, for anything to take effect in the spiritual realm, there has to be a physical, a physical initiation. That is why the Bible says, as it is in the physical, so shall it be in the spiritual. So the, the physical realm has to start it, has to start something. You know, that is why it is often said that until you pray, God cannot act for you. You know, so the prince was sitting somewhere and manipulating things in the spiritual realm. When you read James 5.17, the Bible says, Elijah is a man like you and I, subject to human nature, just like you and I. But Elijah was able to manipulate the heavens, control as to whether or not it will rain. Amen. I charge you in the name of Jesus to be revived. Even as you listen to this video, watch this video. I pray in the name of Jesus that you receive the strength, the reviving spirit of God. Beloved, the reason why your blessings have delayed is not, any, it's not just, it did not just happen in the spiritual, but there is someone somewhere. The prophet of God said, the day King Uzziah died, I saw. Amen. So he was a prophet, but until King Uzziah died, he wasn't seen. There is somebody behind your weaknesses. There is somebody behind the delays in your life. Rise up. 
If you can draw closer to God too, you can gain the power from God. You know, when you read Matthew 7, 7, the Bible talks about asking, seeking, and knocking. But when it comes to power, you don't have to ask for power. Because God said, I have given you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Amen. And the power of God is not only to fight, but the power of God also produces wealth to command riches to you. May you receive the power of God. May you be blessed and equipped. May the Lord release His powerful angels to you, not any weak angel. Be blessed. Even as you watch this video, if there is any sickness in your body, receive the healing of God. Because He said, I send my words and you receive your you, uh, and you receive healing so the, the the man the centurion told jesus that speak your word and my son my servant will be healed because the word of god whenever the word of god is released healing must be evident be healed in your finances be healed in your marriage be healed in your destiny in jesus holy name i pray amen jesus sent it god bless you